Patrick Haggerty here, Basin Youth for Christ. We're going to continue our journey through John chapter 19 this week. We're going to pick it up today where Jesus has now been flogged, beaten within an inch of his life. They've taken a crown of Judean thorns and rammed it down on his head. They've placed a purple robe on him and now he stands before Pilate again and the crowd of onlooking Jews and the Pharisees and the chief priests. And it says this, Pilate went out again, went outside again, and he said to the people, I'm going to bring him out to you now, but understand clearly that I find no guilt, that I find him not guilty. Then Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate said, Behold the man. Look. Look. Here is the man. Pilate brings out Jesus, beaten within an inch of his life. He takes him out before the crowd, hoping that somehow we'll see later that they're going to be appeased by this beating and say, okay, that's enough. He's had enough. But he brings Jesus out and he says, behold the man. And as I was reading that today, I was reminded of another sort of phrase that's similar. In the very beginning of the book of John, chapter 1, John the Baptist sees Jesus coming. And John the Baptist cries out, not behold the man, but behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And this is the man that we need to behold. This is the man. You need to see Jesus. And not just Jesus as the kind guy. Not just Jesus, you know, with the sandals and the kind face. But you also need to behold the man. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. It cost Him His life. He loves you that much. And you need to see Jesus. I need to see Jesus. And as I look to Him, and I place my faith in Him for the forgiveness of my sin, what happens? My sin is taken away. Your sin taken away. Forgiven. The Bible even says forgotten. Because you simply are willing to accept the free gift that God offers you in Jesus Christ and behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus, our sacrifice. Behold the Lamb of God today. Behold the man. Behold the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ, the ultimate sacrifice so that we can be set free. God bless you.